Regina Pats hosting the Kamloops Blazers inside the Brand Center. We all love it. Teddy Bear Toss Night. You gotta love the Teddy Bear. Teddy Bear Toss Night, always huge with the fans. Mitch Lapon in the house, former Regina Pat Canadian, now a member of the Kamloops Blazers. Suiting up to take on the Pats. But who was it gonna be? Who was gonna score that first goal of the game for the Pats to cue the Teddy Bear Toss? Well, it was Boston Laird with the first chance of the game for the Pats breaking in, but stopped by the Kamloops goaltender. Kamloops then gets a chance of their own with some fancy passing deep in the Pats zone. That's Matt Needham, the captain, cross ice pass. They can't beat Nick Schneider, who played very well in this hockey game. Nice job. Pats needed some goaltending, and this young man has stepped up big time for them this year. Boston Larry, he's been having a pretty good season so far, and he doesn't miss twice. We've seen him miss on that breakaway, and here he is again with a wrister from the blue line. There it is. First goal of the game, 1-0 for the Pats. And your cue to throw those teddy bears. And here they come. Teddy bear toss night. You gotta love it. Look at all those teddy bears hitting the Brand Center ice. K9 was getting in on the action. He's loving teddy bear toss night. Come on. Come on. Get them out there. Let's go, folks. Hurry it up now. Get those teddy bears out there. We've got a hockey game to play. And they would. They'd get back to playing some hockey after clearing up those teddy bears. And things got physical. The Pats getting the puck deep into the Blazers zone. And it's Dryden Hunt. Drilling his guy, a bit of interference, but hey, no call, no foul, right? Kamloops would go, would then tie it up, 1-1. It's Matt Needham, their captain. Here he is with the one-timer, beating Nick Schneider to that blocker side. 1-1 one, one in the first period. More physical hockey, Braden Christopher. There he is on the bottom of your screen. Loose puck comes out, and Christopher comes up. Big, huge hit there. Nice job by the Pats. Forward. This one got scary though. Colby Williams picks up the loose puck in the corner and he's drilled from behind. Yikes. He would be okay. A little melee. Nothing developed there. But the Pats would get a power play and they would capitalize. With just seconds left in the power play, it's Dryden Hunt finding the loose puck, wristing it in, giving the Pats a 2 1 lead in that second period. So we would go on to the third period and the Blazers pouring on all kinds of pressure. Matt Needham, the captain, you're going to hear about him a lot. Here he is. Here's Nick Schneider again, coming up big. I'm telling you, this guy's playing very well for the Pats this year. Then Dimitri Sinitsin. He's got some pretty good hands and a huge shot. The Pats defenseman picks up the loose puck, and he finds an opening. Look at this. The C parts. And there goes Sinitsin, bringing it off the post. Score still 2-1. to one. Late in that third period, more pressure from the Blazers looking for the equalizer. And it's Cole Ollie sneaking in from behind the net, and somehow that one gets under Nick Schneider. They would review it, and they would count it. Score tied 2-2. Pats blowing a third period lead. And guess what? More pressure from the Blazers. Just seconds left. It's Matt Needham, their captain. Loose puck in front. He scores, giving the Cam Loops Blazers a 3-2 lead in the third period. Pats blowing a huge third period lead. And we've seen this routine before, haven't we? And that's why a lot of the Pats fans were emptying the Brand Center early in this one. Pats would call a timeout, draw up a play. Would it be too little, too late? No, it wouldn't. The Pats would come down into the Kamloops zone. It's Boston Lair looking for the center of the ice. He centers it off of Kamloops Blazers defenseman and in. 3-3 for the Pats and Blazers. 29 seconds left in that one, and that's when Lair scored that goal, his 22nd of the year. They would go to overtime, nothing solved there, so it's off to a shootout, and it's Boston Lair, the first shooter for the Regina Pats. He would be looking for some glove here, and he finds it. Can't beat the Kamloops goaltender. Kamloops would then come down with a shooter of their own who would look for some glove and find it as well. Nick Schneider throwing up some leather to keep the score 0-0 in the shootout. Chandler Stevenson then gets a chance for the Pats, goes to the forehand, finds some Pat. 0-0 still. Jesse Shinkarek looking for the Blazers' first goal in this shootout, and he would find a little. There it is. Sneaks it past Nick Schneider. Blazers with their first goal. So it's 1-0 for the Blazers in this shootout. If Dyson Stevenson doesn't score, it's all over. Dyson Stevenson breaking down, and he would go wide on the backhand. 
So that is your final 4-3 for the Kamloops Blazers coming into the Brand Center on Teddy Bear Toss Night. Coming from behind with a couple late third period goals to give them the 4-3 lead. The Blazers, by the way, yeah, second worst team in the league. Nice job, though, by Mitch LaPond, the former Regina Pat Canadian, coming home for the big win. Looked good. The young man looked good. Uh, so next up for the uh, Regina Pats, they've got a game Saturday night. Things not going to be any easier for them, or not getting any easier. They're going to be hosting the number one team in the league, the Kelowna Rockets, 7 o'clock on Saturday at the Brant Center. <laughs> 